Hello students, in today's video we are going to study about DL notations of carbohydrates. We generally uh, use the word D-glucose or uh, say we fr call fructose as D-fructose. So what exactly does D and L mean? So let's start with the basic carbohydrate first. The simplest carbohydrate is gl uh, glyceraldehyde with three carbon atoms. Okay, it's an aldo triose. So three carbon atoms. Uh, central carbon is having OH group, so I will keep this OH on the right hand side. Because it has one chiral atom, the number of isomers, stereoisomers will be two, right? So two stereoisomers are there, so this is one of the stereoisomer. The second stereoisomer, that, of course that will be the mirror image, right? And this will be having OH on the left hand side. So these are the two NN isomers, right? When OH is on the right hand side, we call this as capital D. And when OH is on the left hand side, we call it as capital L. So this becomes my D glyceraldehyde and this becomes my L glyceraldehyde. Remember this D and L notations have nothing to do with dextrorotatory and levorotatory. It is just a way of explaining the differences in the structures of the carbohydrates. We are specifically using these D and L notations for carbohydrates. So we always start with glyceraldehyde and then all the carbohydrates derived from the D glyceraldehyde uh, are your D series of carbohydrates and all carbohydrates derived from the L glyceraldehyde are all L series of carbohydrates and always remember D and L are mirror images of each other. For example, D glucose that you can see over here is derived from D glyceraldehyde. We'll see what exactly that derived word means later. And if you look at this L glucose which is exactly mirror image of D glucose similarly D fructose is exactly mirror image of L fructose right so remember D and L are always mirror images of each other so to summarize this we are I've uh, noted down few points that you can make uh, use it as notes where D and L are uh, used to describe the configurations. They are used to distinguish the structural differences. They have nothing to do uh, with uh, dextrorotatory or levorotatory. Okay, they are completely different. When OH group is attached to the carbon from the second, uh, second carbon from the bottom. So specifically, this is very important. If you look at this, not just any carbon having OH group. So the carbon, which is the second last carbon, okay, second from the bottom. So second from the bottom, this is the carbon that we are talking about. If it is on, if OH is on the right hand side, it is the D series. If it OH is on the left hand side, it is the L series. So this is very important, second from the bottom okay so the and almost all the sugars that are obtained in the nature are d series d sugars okay so they are available in uh, abundance you can say so let's study some of uh, the series d and l notations for different carbohydrates so when we talk about aldo tetrose tetrose means four carbon atoms with an aldehydic functional group so four carbon atoms are there right uh, so these are the two carbons which are chiral and two carbon chiral so two raised to two that is four stereoisomers when we say four stereoisomers they are having pairs of enantiomers so we will take it as two pairs of enantiomers now this is important so when i say two pairs of enantiomers i will draw two such structures so in one of the structure like this is the first uh, structure if you want you can draw so two oh groups are on the right hand side okay now what would be the other structure one oh group will be on the right and one oh group will be on the left hand side so i got two different structures and when i said enantiomers that means the these are your d series the remaining one are the l ones so they are mirror images of each other so once you draw the d series the L1 is the mirror image of the other one. So this is D erythrose, this is L erythrose, this is D3O's, this is L3O's. Okay, so when you are drawing aldo tetros, it becomes very easy to draw the structures because only you have to, uh, you know, play with only two carbons over here where you have to just shift the position of the OH groups. Now, as you go on increasing 
the number of carbon atoms uh, the complexities of the structure also increases so when you have three chiral carbon atoms uh, so 2 raised to 3 that is equal to 8 enantiomers 8 stereoisomers 8 stereoisomers means four pairs of enantiomers so i will draw one of the structures of the pair so let's start with the first one d ribose so what we will do to make it simple we will keep all the three oh groups on the same side let's say on the right hand side and now because i'm talking about d series first we will draw draw d series because l series is what the mirror image so when you want to draw d series we know one thing that the second last carbon the oh is always on the right hand side so let's put all the oh on the right hand side in one structure we have placed all the oh groups on the right hand side okay up along with this now we will just switch positions of the other groups now let's start with this carbon so if i want to number this okay these are my five carbons so fourth oh on the right hand side let's now play with the third carbon so third i have put oh here on right hand side what are the possibilities of oh it can be uh, right hand side so right hand side oh are done now let's put oh on the left hand side now no more combination is possible for d series we are just drawing d series right now now let's with play with the second carbon atom now here we have already put oh on the right hand side let's put in this structure oh on the left hand side so right left is done right uh, same thing apply over here also put oh on the right hand side and then put put oh on the left hand side so see now if you want you can try other combinations but you won't get no combinations other than this so this this is my d series and l series will be exactly mirror image of each other so i have drawn four d series if you want you can draw four l series because l are exactly mirror images of each other are you getting this this is how we draw the structures okay this is how we draw and these are the names that i have given um you can learn these uh, i'm i'm showing you to draw this so that you can understand uh, how to draw it and of course you will have to learn this in some syllabus in some universities you may have to uh, you know uh, sh show how to write everything so this is all about your aldo pentosis i hope you people have understood this okay let's go for now aldo hexosis now hexosis so there four chiral carbons 16 stereo isomers so you have to draw 16 structures okay and when i say 16 stereo isomers so make it half that means it has eight pair of enantiomers eight pair of enantiomers means what a d and 8 l we are going to draw first d because once you get the d series the l are very easy because they are simple mirror images because we are drawing the d series i have placed all the second last oh group on the right hand side to make it easy for you to understand so whenever you are also drawing this start uh, you know uh, with a sequence like this put all the oh groups on the right hand side because it's d series right for then you can start with the very first structure where we will make it very simple place all the oh groups on the same side that's on the right hand side because uh we are going to draw now eight structures right so first structure is done now just like the previous one just like the previous one let's keep certain structures certain positions constant so the second last fifth carbon here it is same now let's go for the fourth what i will do for the first four st uh, structures i'll keep oh on the right hand side so if you follow this it becomes very easy for you to remember how to draw these structures okay now for the second uh, next four structures i will put oh on the left hand side so if you want you can also try drawing this no more combinations are possible for this last now these two carbons so this is done now let's go for the third carbon now here we will do some permutations combinations we are going to draw now few uh, like see we will place oh right left right left and we will get now for the third structure this oh is already on the right let me put this oh on the right hand side 
I'll get one new structure, right? Let's do one thing. Now this is done. Now if you put it on the right hand side, you are going to get the same structure, no? So let's put it on the left hand side. So so see now again two more structures you have got, right? Okay. Now let's go for the first carbon. So for first carbon, one OH on the right, second OH will be on the left. Now just put take this and put the same combination one right one left okay one right one left so this is what you get this is nothing but your famous glucose okay ultrose mannose and this is nothing but allose all oh group on the same side d allose this is plus dextro rotatory this is also plus dextro rotatory this is also plus see d and l doesn't uh, mean it is uh, dextro it's it's just that these are having dextro we will see the structures this is minus uh, this one is this sorry why i'm not able to write uh, this this d glucose is minus i'll write here okay uh, d iodose is also minus levo rotatory galactose is plus dextro rotatory tallose is also dextro rotatory okay now once this is done now you can go for this now see what we have what we have done the last two structures we have kept constant now just play with third and the second carbon so what we'll do just like just like the combination that you did for the these four structures exactly same combination you can copy it down over here or you can learn it this way 2 oh on right hand side for the third one 2 oh on the left hand side okay then for second one oh on right one oh on left right left okay so exactly first two uh, the structures in the first the first two combination for this i have just sort of you know copy pasted over here and here you have all four different structures so for all eight different structures and all these structures are the d series of the carbohydrates and what would be the l series l will be exactly mirror image of this so if you are uh, if you want to draw it you can draw simply l series of this so l for a series of allos will be all the oh groups will be on the left hand side okay so once you get the hint of drawing the d series l becomes very easy fine i hope you people have understood this how to draw um, okay so this is uh, these are the open structures of aldose aldohexoses i have placed all the structures uh, over here and this is how you get open structures of aldoses and ketoses here when i said uh, the series derived from d glyceride is your d series so what does that, that mean is we keep the second last carbon on the right hand side so if you look at all the structures over here the second last carbon oh is always on the right hand side so that makes it a d series now when you want to insert the new carbon atom it is inserted between first and the second carbon atom when aldoses are concerned because on your first carbon atom is your functional group and this is your second carbon atom so when you insert it on the second carbon atom what we do is we get two structures where we place the oh on the right hand side and the second structure possible is when we placed it on place it on the left hand side okay next thing what we can do now in this we will insert here now this is my first carbon this is my second carbon so whenever you insert it you will have to draw two structures one where oh is on the right hand side and the other when oh is on the left hand side the rest of the structure remains the same so if you look at this the these two carbon structures are same right these two carbon structures are same okay this this one will be also same so see these three the positions of oh are same right now here this is the inserted carbon so one on the right hand side and one oh and then on uh, oh on the left hand side similarly here you are going to insert between first and second oh goes on right oh goes on left next this is your aldopentoses when you want to go for aldohexoses you will insert this between the first and the second so from this ribose you get two structures allose and ultrose one oh on the right hand side one oh on the left hand side insert it over here it's it's fun drawing these structures i don't have much time so just to save time i have just taken this image and 
I'm explaining you on that basis. So put it over here. One OH on right hand side, one OH on left hand side. Please insert here one OH right, one OH left. Same thing we can do with ketosis also. Ketosis has uh, two second on second carbon atom there is a carbonyl group. Of course, this will become your functional group. So here in aldoses we insert between first and second carbon atom. In this case, we are going to insert between the functional group uh, carbon atom and the next carbon atom, right? So this is my uh, so third carbon atom. So here. What we did is we are inserting it between this. So we get this erythrolose. We are talking about the D series. I am talking about the D series over here, right? So in this case, D series and the L1 will be CH2OH, C double bond O, COH, H and CH2OH. Because we are drawing the D series, we have written only one structure over here. Next, insert it between second and third you get an OH on the sec right hand side, left hand side. See the la second last carbon is on the right hand side, so it becomes D. Next, insert it between second and, uh, sorry, insert between second and third, OH on right hand side, OH on left hand side. Here you insert between second and third, OH on right hand side, OH on left hand side, rest of the structure remains the same. So this was about ketosis. I hope you people have understood how to draw this series and this is very easy and interesting. So I want you people to try and draw these structures. Next will be on next video will be on enantiomers, nice studio, happy, and Do watch this. Thank you.